What up, everyone? I'm Jack Slater, and check us out. Comic Outlaw on YouTube. Hell, yes, and we're switching it to the dark side. Yes, we're doing Star Wars. General Grievous. <laughs> yeah. One of the most infamous Jedi killers of all time during the Clone Wars, and we're telling one of his stories during the time where he was at his best, killing Jedi and taking names, lightsabers, and souls. Anyways, there's a clash here. They were supposed to pick up an ambassador, but it was a trap. It was a well-laid trap by Count Dooku's monster, the half-machine, half alien known as General Grievous. And he's been slaughtering Jedi's left and right, taking their lightsabers as trophies. And Master and Padawan, groups of Jedi's haven't been able to stand up to the formidity of this monster. For the Jedi were not practiced. In the years of peace, the lightsaber had become more of a parlor trick, a measure of intimidation. And as one master charges, he was supposed to be the best of them. Powerful in the light side. Powerful in the ways of the force. And yet, he was cut down by General Grievous. And his light was extinguished. And his lightsaber has now become a trophy for this killing machine known as General Grievous. And this gives the other Jedi's an opportunity to get away, to escape this murderous machine. But yet, some of the Padawan and Jedi start to think, we have to stop this monster at all costs. And they bring their concerns to the council. And they are aware of Grievous and the bloodshed that he's wrought upon the Jedi. They're aware of the damage that he's done. And yet, this is the impotency of the Jedi, where they suggest that a small squad ought to go and finish him off once and for all. They refuse. They think it's cowardice. And this is the difference between the Jedi and the military. They're peacekeepers, but they have no understanding of strategy, no understanding of military intelligence, military might, and they are blinded by this. Their sense of honor will end up destroying them in the end. And they tell this Padawan that if he or any other Jedi try this, that they are on their own. And he's to report to a new master. As she sits there. And she tries to get him to meditate. To vent his anger. He's joined by other Jedi and Padawan. Who share his concerns who want to join him in his cause in destroying Grievous. As you can see, some of the Jedi's are scarred, destroyed by Grievous, both body, Padawan, lightsaber. Grievous destroys all. This creature has done so much damage to the Jedi. This is the moral quandary as the master sits there and listens to everything that these Jedi discuss and knowing that they're going to give up their livelihood in the order to take this mission on as she sits there and meditates and she tells them she will not help and yet she will not tell the council but they will find out and he will lose his place among the Jedi order but it's a risk that he's willing to take Meanwhile, Grievous is on another mission of bloodshed to destroy the Republic and to add a new lightsaber to his collection. His battle droids show up ready to cut everything and everyone down as Grievous steps from the ship and declares no mercy as he finds a Jedi waiting for him. And Grievous decides to have him executed another toy for Grievous's collection as the Jedi plan another strike another way to help out in this war and the planet they're helping out is Alderaan but not all the Jedi plan 
to go. This Padawan plans to desert during the mission to leave to carry out his plans against Grievous. And the Master warns him that he's going to lose not only his place in the Order, but he may lose himself in this decision. Everything he was is his place as a Jedi will be lost. As he steals the ship, he uses a classic Jedi mind trick. He boards knowing that he'll never be welcome home again. That this is his last hurrah as a Jedi. He is now a renegade. And as a soldier asked the other Jedi, who is he and why? He mentions two others have abandoned as well. The fear of the dark side is great. And as these chosen few, these renegade Jedi, land on a planet hoping to get help, for Grievous has killed many. He has many enemies throughout the galaxy and the universe. And they must find allies in order to carry out their mission. So at this dive bar they sit, they talk, they plan. They also try to figure out a way on how to get people to help them, how to find a contact. But in a dive like this, there's always someone listening. There's always someone wanting to make a buck or there's always someone looking for payback. Meanwhile, Grievous finds what he was looking for. Why that Jedi fought so hard to protect its Padawans. And Grievous has plans for them. As he stands there, lightsaber lit. What will be the fate of these children? What does Grievous have in mind? We'll find out the next time, won't we? And I'll catch you on the flip side.